M0 FXB, welcome back to my TID Radio H3. We're using the Nick Shaw firmware by Marcus, and we're going to use his flasher to load up the latest software, which is version 2, just here, 2.01.17. So first thing you do is connect your cable. Some radios will work with the USB-C. I'm using the, the twin pin cable. This is what it will end up looking like when it's done. And look how smart that looks. So anyway, turn the radio off. First, cable connected to your PC as well. Then right click on your device manager, Windows Squares, device manager, and double click ports and get your port number. Mine is 12, you can see it there. So then we're gonna choose the file that we downloaded just by clicking here. You see it go up to the downloads there. It's a bin file. Choose that file, like so. Radio's off, yeah. Uh, choose your serial port so when you click that 12 connect and now once you get to this point let's just do that again so now you click flash firmware and then the radio is off put your finger on the PTT and turn it on and you'll know when it's flashing because all the numbers on the right hand side there will change and when it finishes ta -da! says flashing complete and the radio comes on and look how fantastic that radio looks of course we're going to do lots more videos on this radio but i thought i'd show you this amazing and there's a whole software programming window for this as well which i believe actually has a scope uh, so thanks to marcus and uh, that is using the firmware flasher and it does work on the h3 and the h8 if you've got the TRD radio h8 and this is the beta version firmware. 7.3, all the best.